Hola, mi retardo. So, I don't know if some of y'all know this, but I like boomsticks. I like boom boom thingies. I like fire. I like gun. <laughs> That'll be a cut off there. So, you know. so I thought I'd share some of my, you know, my stuff, my collection. So first off, we're gonna start off with this little thing. Wait, can you get your ass over here. Get your ass over here. Jesus, this this lady right here. She's the fucking. She's my cameraman. I pay her nothing. No, 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 no. <laughs> no the camera didn't catch that. Don't worry, I promise. So I showed this off in another video, some of you might remember. So this is my uh, Denix C96 Mauser. Burmhalle Mauser, whatever you want to call it. Same fucking thing. And, uh, yeah, I like it. <laughs> I've always had a fast, well, not always, but I've ever since I found it, I've had a fascination with the, the C96 or the M172. I kind of like the Denix thing. I wish I might have gotten like the KWC BB gun version of this or the Umarex Legends, but those are super pricey. I got the complete set with the the holster and stock that slides into each other. So it's kind of like, you know, yeah. This is what I waste my money on folks. This is, this is my life, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's not much to say about it. There are hundreds of reviews online for it. My only um, dislike with it is the the sights and the block doesn't the sight block doesn't slide up and down on the thing. But besides that, you know, it's a pretty decent uh, replica. I like it. Denix makes some good stuff. If you're ever interested in replica firearms, they're the go-to guys. You know, they they make good shit. Next this little thing right here so this is something i really like it's a ruby pistol i think I, i'm pretty sure it's a ruby pistol but i it's a, they have a very convoluted can't speak sorry guys convoluted history where basically world war one the french are like hey we need a shit ton of guns this little gun shop in spain is like lol let's submit a firearm to the french trials we won't win and they won. <laughs> so they're like, fuck, we can't make this many guns in this set of time. They had to make like 25,000, I think, in a couple of months. And they're just like, no, we can't fucking do that. So they go around to a bunch of other Spanish gun shops. And they're like, hey, can you help us make this gun for the French Army? They're like, yeah, sure, okay. So if you ever find one of these, there's no definitive markings. Some have like stars, some have company names. Um, there are different variations, that's why a lot of them are different, but this is an overall kind of look for them. They have the this kind of magazine where you have to pull out, you have to pull this button right here to release it. And the some of them have stars on the bottom here of the of the grip, but basically my grandfather had this. He's like, hey, this is a junk gun. I don't want it. The safety slash slide catch is broken. It's the same thing. He's like, I asked, yo, can I have it? He's like, sure, whatever. So I get it, figure out what the fuck it is, figure out how to fix it, which I can't because there's so many different variations of it. You can't find a definitive safety slash slide catch thing for it. So it's hard to do. But ever since I did it, I, I field strip it at least once a week. I really love this thing. You, you take it. Oh no, fuck, the magazine. Shit. <laughs> you gotta take out the magazine for it. And I'll just do that. And then I can kind of fiddle with the safety slide catch thing and uh, make it into fire mode. So it's not really worth trying to fire A because it's a hassle to switch between fire and safety mode and I'm not going out and trying to find and buy 32 ACP ammunition. If y'all for some reason want a tutorial of field stripping this motherfucker, I mean, I don't see why. But yeah, that's one of my, one of my little things. Now for the finale, <laughs> is what I'm most proud of. This puppy right here. So this, this is what I like to call my Frankenstein boomstick. Frankie for short. She's not a beauty, but uh, she's cool. So come here, come on, let's get a zoom in here, so bears. 
So basically this was another thing for my grandfather. This was hanging on his wall in his office for years and I commented on it one day. I'm like, hey, that's cool. He's like, you want it? I'm like, hell yeah. This is kind of what started my fascination with collecting older, more weird designed weapons, you know, firearms. <clears throat> Cause this is very, very odd to say the least. So I don't know what the fuck this thing is. <laughs> I don't know if it's a proper uh, percussion cap musket from the Civil War or if it's some weird um, Chinese thing, you know what I mean? Like, it's so weird. We, Me and my grandfather do gun shows, which is like a, a gun convention. We set up a stand right next to the Civil War guy. He's like, take off the lock plate for the mechanism and I'll tell you if it's real or not. So I take it off, he's like, this is actually like Civil War, but I don't know what the fuck it is. <laughs> so there are a lot of weird aspects about it. First off, we have this little thing here in the stock, which is, uh, you flip it open. I store like special quarters in there because they have like the dates of special events for me. And this is for storing patches and stuff like that for it. We have the butt plate here, which I, if you can see it on camera, that's like, we. I think this was made off of some sort of sign because there are letters and stuff stamped into it, but I can't make out what it says. I took off the butt plate. There's nothing underneath. So that, that was a dead end. The barrel itself is a fucking humongous bore. Like I could stick a lot of my thumb in there. So that's pretty large. I want to say maybe 10 gauge, but I don't think we had gauges back then. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But yeah, I just got no fucking clue what this thing is. It's a treasure of mine though. I love this thing. I'm hoping to pass it down to, down through the generations. You know, that's sort of sweet shit. It's a cool little thing, but um, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to get some fucking content out there because I've been lazy as shit. Summer vacation's coming up, so hopefully I'm gonna have more time to do that. Um, you know, work out, improve myself as a person. So hopefully this summer vacation is gonna be kind of a turnaround for me. More content, more, uh, not more vicious specifically, not more Frankenstein more gum. sticks. Maybe more gum. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, tell me what you guys want. I mean, you want me to fucking field strip this baby? You want me to do, I plan to do, like a joke ASMR video at some point, maybe a song cover. I have a bunch of shit planned, but with That's that, um... Uh, shop. Oh, no. <laughs> y'all... <laughs> y'all have a good one. Bye-bye <laughs> now. Can I stop filming?